Check out my new shirt my wife gave me. It's pretty cool, huh? She says I don't listen to her. Anyway, Bitcoins. Maybe I don't understand Bitcoins, but to me, it sounds like a uh, complete scam. It sounds like to me like uh, a super nerd, and this is what I do. I'm in, I'm in the computer industry. A super nerd who plays World of Warcraft all day long and wants, to, wants more gold, but in World of Warcraft, he has to do mundane, stupid little stuff to, to get gold, but doesn't want to do the work, so he goes to eBay and he gives somebody U.S. dollars for, you know, uh, World of Warcraft gold. Now that gold really has no value except for at you know on World of Warcraft. Bitcoins, so you know, some people take bitcoins. There's there's plenty of you know retailers out there that take bitcoin coins, but guess what? The government's already talking about shutting it down because people are using bitcoins to buy illegal drugs on some website or something like that. I mean, but here's the thing about Bitcoin that that people don't understand. You aren't working for those bitcoins, and people are like, "Yeah, you do," because you got to get all the CPU power so you can do these algorithms to get a bitcoin. Okay, well, this is the question I I can't get answered on bitcoins. All the CPU power that you're putting on the network that is that is getting hammered, like the CPUs are going off trying to freaking break these algorithms like crazy. And the bigger CPUs you have, the more Bitcoins you can get. Where is all that CPU processing power going? Is it a hacker? Is it somebody trying to hack something? Because in the world of computing, you have encryption. And this is what Bitcoin is doing. And, you know, like your bank transactions are encrypted. And a lot of times they're encrypted by 128-bit, 256-bit encryption, which takes like a normal computer, you know, 50,000 or 580,000 years to break or something like that. But you get 100,000 computers trying at the same time, maybe you'll be able to break that. Well, the CPU power that they want on the Bitcoin network is used for something. And I've yet to find out what it's used for. And I doubt it's for something good. Right? And even if it is for something good, say it's MIT that needs a lot of computing power or somebody that needs a lot of computing power to do some kind of test or experiment or something. It's no different than them paying you to use your computer. But that doesn't make it a currency. How's that a currency? It's just somebody paying you for your computer uh, power, your CPU power. That's not a currency, right? I mean, a currency is something that you get paid for on a lot of different things. You could be a roofer, you could be a, a, a you know a computer engineer like me, you could be a milkman, you could be a paper route guy, and you all get paid in the same currency. But Bitcoin only pays you if you are using your CPU power to break algorithms. And I'm telling you right now, mark my words on this, Bitcoin will be shut down. At some point, Bitcoin will be shut down. Not because it's, you know, your CPU power doesn't have value. And I've heard a lot of things about people's computers burning up on Bitcoin, too. And you have to have, anyway, I, I, I don't want to, because you're using power. Computers use a lot of power, except, especially when the CPU is running at a high rate. So you're sucking up energy. Your energy bill will probably be more if you're using, you're trying, trying to, you know, mine, mine Bitcoins. I mean, <laughs> Yeah, you're out there mining bitcoins like like there's some free coins around on the internet, and you're just mining them. I mean, that's a, it's so retarded. I I I don't even know what to say to it. You know, right? That would be like saying, you know, I don't even know what. That's like I, what what I think it's like. I'm not sure, but what I think it's like is somebody breaking into the bank and stealing money. That's what I think it's like because they're breaking algorithms. They're trying to. They're trying to break hashes, which are in encryption hashes, and they need a lot of po CPU to po power to do it because, you know, these 256-bit encryption can't be broken unless you have, you know, thousands of computers working at the same time. So I think Bitcoin is actually a hacker organization. That's what I think it is.
and they're using that CPU power to do something that is that is illegal. That's what I think it is. But I, you know, I can't prove it. I don't know. Somebody tell me what is all that CPU power being used for, right? And all the energy and electricity you're sucking up when your computer's running over overtime with the CPU clocking at 100% trying to do this. What? What? You know, what is all, what is it useful? What are you actually doing? And if you are actually doing some work, you're doing it for an organization that needs that CPU power. And they're just paying you for it. But they're not paying you in real money. They're paying you in a currency that could be shut down by the government because it's not legit. Right? You can't call it a currency is if you have to have a computer running overtime to to earn it. Right? Because not everybody has a computer, nor do, does ever not ever does everybody want a computer running overtime, you know, plugged into the wall sucking electricity. Right? Some people want to make their money through mowing lawns or fixing cars or you know being an accountant. So it's not a true currency. It's not. It's, it's, it's stupid to even say it is. So that's all I'm going to say about Bitcoin. It's ridiculous.